Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra January 8, 2023. The full moon today can bring a turning point to communication, learning, or mental project, or it could bring information to light that changes your perspective. It's an emotionally charged time for discovering your true feelings or reaching a new understanding of a matter. Communications or information can be the subject, but it can also awaken your need for spirit-refreshing experiences, inspiring you to pursue your heart's desire. An idea that you've been working on might blossom now. Temporarily, you're giving more weight to emotions than reason, and you can benefit from getting in touch with feelings that you've buried or denied. This full moon can certainly exaggerate an issue, and it makes sense to pull back and look at the bigger picture if you're uncertain about what you're hearing or reading. For days you've been feeling the full moon's energy rising within the night. Her ebbs and flows affect you so deeply. This month, the full moon falls in a fellow sign. This divine announcement from the universe signals that it is time for you to pursue adventure and swim into new territory. The lunation energizes the sign of cancer, which will cast a sensitive, emotional energy over your day and one ahead. It also specifically spotlights your solar house of expansion, so this would be an excellent time to look at your schedule with your one and only and plan some fun adventures or vacations in the year ahead. Look at how far you have come. Your professional journey may have been influenced by your intuition and emotions over the past six months. Throughout this time, you may have explored educational, spiritual, and travel opportunities that could potentially deepen your career path. Think about what you have experienced or learned during this time since this will be your sentimental silver linings during the domicile full moon in Cancer today. Under the full moon, be ready to release any pent-up feelings about your professional journey to continue moving forward. Thanks to the moon's departure from your financial sector yesterday your financial instincts are sharp and you are emotionally and intuitively engaged as Mars moves into his final days in retrograde motion. Now just six days away from his direct turn, Mars is slowing to a crawl but with a lot still to be gained from a chance to retrace your steps. When the usual routine of eating lots of salad and getting regular exercise seems boring and predictable, prepare or order a really heavy dinner, like a fondue. Pay attention to how you feel the next morning and ask yourself which diet you prefer. You may not even have to do this because you can anticipate what the answer would be. We must always entertain our decadent impulses seriously, or we will miss the opportunity of using our better judgment. Generosity begins at home. On a family-oriented day such as this, you will find it impossible to neglect loved ones. Maybe arrange to work from home for the day, or take a personal day off if you can. It isn't like you don't deserve it. The amount of hours you put in alone says you deserve a break and so does your family. So take care to nurture yourself and your loved ones today and the rewards will be bountiful. That the first full moon of 2023 should fall in an adventurous part of your chart is not surprising, as this is a full moon that will always fall at some point during the last 10 days and the first three weeks of each year. However, with Jupiter just two weeks into a five-month period of job growth and expansion and with a busy year stretching out in front of you, yesterday's full moon and its friendly aspect to the remaining planets in a playful part of your chart before leaving tomorrow is a reminder that life can't be all work and no play. The first full moon of 2023 is not only falling in an adventurous part of your chart, but this is the moon's first visit since Jupiter left your romantic sector. A friendly aspect to both Neptune and the asteroid Juno in an adventurous part of your chart before leaving tomorrow is already bringing the spirit of romance and adventure together, while a clash with the sun is challenging old excuses. This comes just as the communication and relationship gods are also working together. Our eyes in the sky. Cancer Moon brings all of its emotions to our consciousness. We are releasing old feelings as we move into a new year, and we could have a lot of tears to shed. It might hurt while we're doing it, but the process of letting go and managing one's heart means embracing such growing pains in order to move forward in life. 
You must react calmly to any jibes or provocation from the people you know. If you feel deceived, be careful in whom you confide. You tend to weigh each word too carefully and overreact to the slightest criticism. You should deal only with those who don't take your mood too seriously and know how to handle it. Resting will make you feel better. Personal relationships don't always run according to plan. Turbulent situations crop up again and again, requiring all your energy. Smaller arguments and conflicts seem to be pre-programmed. Keep calm and deal with this turmoil in a relaxed fashion. It doesn't have to be a spa package, if health is what you're longing for, even just a long hot bath, relaxing music and a good book can do the trick. It's time for you to focus on your health, and learn to weigh up healthy choices against the potential damage caused by overeating, alcohol consumption and smoking. In the morning, the Cancer Moon squares off with Chiron in Aries, forcing a confrontation with suppressed pain. We obviously don't want to go about our lives feeling weak or vulnerable. So, when we encounter triggering situations, we are more likely to bypass them, ignore them, or claim we will address them later when we are in a better place. The issue is that we cannot get to the better place without having the necessary confrontation. By putting it off, we continue to perpetuate the cycle of trauma. Today, acknowledge the wound. You may not be able to resolve it now, but at least you won't do yourself a disservice by sweeping it under the rug. You're feeling vulnerable and it is easy for somebody to mislead you, so be careful to avoid making any hasty decisions. It's certainly better to put your energies into things which give you pleasure but don't wear you out. Otherwise unintended actions simply lead to you becoming weary and exhausted. Go along with any sympathetic suggestions your partner makes. Mid-afternoon, the Cancer full moon brings to fruition intentions set during the December 23rd Capricorn new moon. The enterprising new moon brought goals for the new year into focus. Yet yesterday's full moon communicates that magic cannot be made manifest in the external world without equal priority being given to our emotional well-being. Self-mastery is not only about negotiating reality, but about listening to our intuition and instincts. At this time, we realize that our feelings are not a threat to our success. They are an invaluable barometer for personal safety and security while navigating experience. Yesterday's full moon asks us to return to our personal center, reminding us that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength. The moon additionally sextiles Uranus in Taurus, intimating that serendipitous encounters will facilitate important wake-up calls. Progress and advancement have different definitions depending on who we talk to. Ultimately, it is up to us to choose the path that will engender our own happiness, even if it is an unorthodox one. The moon also opposes retrograde Mercury, suggesting that reflection and introspection are a better use of our time than explaining our logic to others now. You owe no one an explanation for your choices.